flick He'd wall his eyes and switch his tail Had that mule good kick He took him down to the foot of the hill To try him out one day Every time he'd hit that mule That old gray mule would say That mule would say He yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, power him down the way. Now this old muley kick, he kicked to his dying breath. He stuck his hind leg down his throat and kicked his self in it, like you would say. Oh, boy, hold him. <laughs> he yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, and he yawns, oh, and I rode him down the way. Oh, mule, oh, mule, oh, little mule, I say, tied him not no buck's tail before he runs away. That mule would say, the mule would say, don't hold it, fella, so he can say what he's gonna say, confound it. Hold it, hold it, hold it a minute, confound. I grab me, just run through the, just eating green corn, going. And <laughs> you know, I tell you, that mule will wake you up in the morning. It makes a lot of people homesick for their alarm clock when they hear this thing. And he'll get up about five every morning, seven days a week, whether you're going to work or not. But you'll hear him down at the barn go something like this. <laughs> Oh, boy! Because I live on Shanty Street His folks don't want him to love me They say that I'm not good enough for him They turn their heads away from me Each time they meet me on the street They're ashamed because they know their Jim loves me I go tacky just because As soon as he gets back We will meet in our old shack And if he wants We'll make our home on Shanty Street When one is raised as poor as me And never
Where's that other dog get? Confound him. I'm gonna, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'll cut his tail off right behind his ears. Call him up back, huh? really. Call him up. I'm, well, wait a minute. Get a little, wait till I get the shotgun broke down. Wait a minute. I was going to bring that other one, but... <laughs> that ain't no shotgun. That's a mug or you need. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can run that old red fox. He, you know, he's took every chicken we got nearly. All but one scaly-legged rooster we've been saving for the preacher. He's coming over right away and going to have a Sunday dinner with him, you know. Yeah. Oh, let's get that big, last big rooster. Call up the dogs right now and see oh. if we can run that fox off so we won't catch him. Daddy, come. They're coming out from under the house down yeah. now. See him, Daddy? That's two of them right there. Curly. One of them's limping like he had athlete's foot. What the <laughs> <laughs> Let it get together, you. <laughs> if everybody's going, here we go.
Some friends of mine said they'd like to hear a race between a T-model and a train. You know, they've been here a long time, ain't they? You bet they have. <laughs> I grab, you know, when them steam trains went out, you know, they had them lonesome whistles. Yeah, That's yeah. the lonesomest thing in this world. Mm -hmm. I know if we, and uh, they, they run a diesel down through home there over in Ray County from Chattanooga up to Oakdale, you know. I know we'll forget it, and that thing, I'll tell you the truth, Paul, he got a shotgun laid out in the woods there for four days and nights, took pneumonia fever looking for a wild moose. <laughs> Is yeah. that what he thought yeah, it was? Yeah, when he blowed that whistle, you know, <laughs> this poor fella. But found out it wasn't, but it, what I was trying to get around to is a race between the T-model and the train on this mug working, yeah. you see. I was going to do it, and it reminded me of where I got the idea of an old fella at home used to carry the mail, and he had a T-model Ford, and this course where they had the steam engines there. And they'd take, try to race after he'd pick up the mail, hit the old train, it'd start out real slow from the station, you know. And he had a mile, mile to go up the track beside him. Yeah. And they got to knowing each other pretty well, the engineer and the fella drove the T-model. And then you ought to hear him blow back and what, it forth at one another. You know, I bet he had to stretch that T-model out. Oh, he blowed a mean horn, friend. I'll tell you, he <laughs> blowed a mean did. horn, that boy did. And especially that Magneto deal. <laughs> Magneto, yeah, two tones. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you kind of how I get sound. Oh, you're going to imitate it for me. Well, I'll do my best, I will, yeah. I've got the tizzy. Can you tell it? Uh, well, yeah, I was yeah. gre greased with goose grease last night like I hadn't been stooped squat. Oh, I was in a bad shape. <laughs> Let's see if we can't do that thing, though. I'm ready. I've got a ticket about four foot long. We'll ride it up to Oakdale, huh? Yeah, we get the train started, and then we'll see if Uncle Sipe come in with his, with his uh, T-Model Ford. Hmm? Okay. Blow his magneto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Blow his top if you don't watch. Yeah. <laughs>
ಅಡ್ಡಾಯು Thank you. 
Percy Wilson Gay left his wife every day. She would always say, be poor on time. Don't have me waiting here when dinner time comes near. Be here when we sit down to dine. He promised her he would, then swore that he'd be good. But Percy never could quite settle down. For when his work was through, he'd find a friend or two. Then they'd just play around the town. Well, he'd call his wife up on the telephone. And this is what he'd say to her at home. Hang out the front door key, love. Hang out the front door key. You need not wait up for me, dear. I may be out to three. I'm with a poor sick friend, love. Who do the same for me. So keep a light in the hall. That night when he got home, he found himself alone. Now where his little wife had gone, he knew not where. Although it served him right to get an awful fright, to think he could not find her there. She called him up at three and said, Yes, dear, this is me. I don't seem to be at home all alone. I'm with some friends of mine, I'm having a whale of a time, and I don't know just when I'll be at home. On the table there he found a little note He opened it and this is what she wrote Hang out the front door key, love Hang out the front door key You need not wait up for me, dear I know I'll be out till three I'm with a poor sick boyfriend Just like you used to be So keep a light in that hall tonight And hang out the front door key Hang out the front door
You left my money, honey, don't care for me I wanna live single, plain, you can see I don't love nobody, nobody loves me Some love for chicken, honey, some love for gin Some love for money, but never win I wanna live single, plain, you can see I don't love nobody, nobody loves me chicken ham, but to my surprise, I got fooly put me to plow an old blind mule, clearing new ground, chopping briars, sleeping by myself. So off we went to Hunter's Shack to keep this wife, I'd break my back. We found a place, then looking about, I was hunting with a job for all work picked out. Oh boy, they're hard to find. Shake their head, I'm still looking. Now me and my wife is going down the street My old used to be I chance to meet She gave me the wink and my wife looked back And boy, you ought to see me ball a jack Run red lights Turn corners Got caught I was down in the hen house the other night and there I saw an awful fight There's an old Shanghai in a primitive flock frock Was trying to find out who broke the lock Well, hens was a singing Chickens are preaching Taking up collection, paying off at eggs. I was down the wild woods, sitting on the log, and my finger on the trigger, and my eye on the hog. Bit a pull the tree, and the gun went ripping, jumped on that hog with all my grip shit scraping. Gnawing on a pig foot, just nuts about chitlins. I was up in the corner by the mantelpiece And I was all scooped up by a bucket of grease And I had to grease my feet, a little axle grease And went shooting up down that mantelpiece on matches The cigarette butts, filter tips besides And chewing tobacco too Ah, boy I'm here working so hard because I got a gal and she's a working in the yard. But when she kills a chicken, she saves me the head. She thinks I'm a worker when I'm laying in the bed, <laughs> sleeping, dreaming about her. Oh, I'd like to see that gal, you know. house the other night is an awful dark and i had no light i scrambled around and got a hold of the goose and the gun went off and i turned it loose oh lord i jumped gullies road bushes dodge bullets too buddy now there ain't no use of me working so hard my fingers are sore and my mind is tired now i can keep trying but i'll take your bet the longer i try the worse it'll get oh it's getting terrible and there ain't one thing about it piece of cornbread laying on the shelf. If you want any more, just do it yourself. Your finger will get sore, I'll bet you a dollar. I'll lay you two cents to a donut and a Alabama meal. <laughs> oh, me? I'm gonna sit down a while, friend. <laughs> 